Uh, we're going to be going over sumigaishi, or corner reversal throw, uh, and specifically our approach to it here at Welcome At. Uh, this would be something that uh, you would be showing to someone who's new or who hasn't seen the throw yet. Uh, specifically, we're going to be showing a, a approach to it that we use here, uh, and we start with a little bit of a different grip than you might have been used to seeing. It's a two-on-one grip or a sleeve and, and shoulder grip rather than the standard kumikata. We just find that it's a little bit easier to execute this particular throw with that grip for newcomers. And as they get more used to the throw, we go back to the more standard grips, kumikata, high shoulder grip. So we're going to go over Sumi Gaishi corner reversal. So a lot of people get this interchanged with Hakomi Gaishi, and honestly, I mean, it's really, really similar. So it's it's easy to, to get them overlapped. But if you want to be a you know really technical about it, the difference is that one is like squared up and straight on, and one of them is coming at an angle or a corner. Okay, uh, Sumi Gaishi is the corner one corner reversal. So the, the easiest way that we find to do it is from like a two-on-one grip. And you can do it from a standard two-on-one like here, or we can get, you know, a two-on-one with a back grip. I, I prefer it that way because it helps. Let's do that one for these guys. I think it'll be good. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So at, your outside foot is going to step into them. I'm, I'm already at kind of like a 90-degree angle or 45-degree angle for him to get the two-on-one grip. But I'm going to step Cross right about here, slightly in. Okay, I don't want to be way out here. Okay, slightly in, but not way in here like this. Okay, boom. And what that does is that allows me to catch my inside leg on the inside of his thigh. And my foot flexes, and the shin makes contact with his thigh. So this gets me close enough to catch right there. Keep it bent. If it has to be straight out here, you'll never throw it. He'll just tackle it, okay? We come in, catch, and I'm gonna sit straight down onto my ankle or my heel, okay? I don't wanna sit backwards, I wanna sit straight down because I don't want any space in between us because again, I'll lose the spring from my leg. As you do it, you keep them balled up with you. Straight down, balled up, straight leg, and there it goes. Okay, if I, I'll show you what happens when you sit backwards. Okay, we're catch through here like this. Everything else is good. And we're right about there, and that's all the kick that I get. And now I'm squished, and he's past my guard and choking me unconscious. Okay, so don't sit back. Very similar to the rules of Hikomi Gaishi and Tomo Anagi. Sit straight down so that you're in a nice little ball that gives you a lot of spring and a lot of drive off your base leg. Okay, so. Okay, everything just like you guys were, were doing, and Steve made a comment about the knee, and Derek had made the comment earlier about arching your foot back, okay? And in order to do that, you can grab a hold of this thigh, and it gives you just a little more control over that leg and guiding him over. So when your knee comes up, I always want to feel my knee in his hip, so this leg comes in here like this. If I just lay my foot in there, it's, it's just there. If I arch my foot, I actually can grab a hold of that thigh and I feel my knee really in his hip, okay? And I'm just trying to get a hold of that leg, okay? I lose it if I don't arch my foot back. And when I arch my foot back, I actually push in with my knee just a little bit because I'm grabbing a hold of this thigh in essence with my lower part of my leg. And that's it. That's all. And it, it makes, it does two things. It makes me sit whether I want to or not because when he pushes his knee that way, sideways against my hip, that's popping my, my knee forward. So it goes like that. And then the second thing is it's, it straightens the knee so that now you don't have to hop around as much or cut as much when you actually do the kick. You want your leg pretty straight, your kneecap pretty much straight this way so that you can kick so that you get 
as much force as you can to get the guy over. But when you do it this way, you can literally just sit straight back and, and kick because I've moved my knee now straight in line with where I want it. Can we just guys that. demo that? That's just one of you guys demo that to show. Okay, so. Okay, and then everything else is the same. I'm going to step in, catch, push the knee towards him. Okay, sit down. And all the way through, it feels like he's just like resting on my knee and my shin instead of you having to kick him as he's sliding off. It's, you feel way more stable all the way through and you get way more amplitude when you kick him up. Okay.